In the last presentation, we completed introduction of XS3 code. In this lecture, we will try to add two numbers in XS3 code. So we are going to learn XS3 code addition in this presentation. I will start this presentation with one example. In first example, we will perform the addition 2 plus 5. I will use this example to explain you access 3 code addition and uh, first we need to convert 2 and 5 to their respective BCD codes. So we'll do it quickly. BCD code for 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. BCD code for 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. We have already done this in previous lectures. Now we will add 3 we will add 3 to obtain access 3 code for 2 and 5. If you remember the last presentation, we converted the decimal number to BCD. This is BCD. And uh, then we add 3 to obtain access 3 code. So if you add 3, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1 to 0, 0, 1, 0, we are going to have 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the access 3 code for 2. In the same way, we will have 1000 as the access 3 code for 5. Now we will perform the addition 01011000. We will perform the addition. Two numbers are added using basic laws of binary addition. There is nothing new to it. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So this is what we have as the result of addition. But this is not the correct answer because we are missing one very important point. This number here is XS3 code for 2. This number here is XS3 code for 5. What does it mean? It means we have XS of 3 in 2 and we have XS of 3 in 5. So we have XS of 6 in sum. Because when you add two numbers in XS3, the sum is going to be XS6. Let's try to prove it. First, I will perform the simple addition. 2 plus 5 gives us 7. And then I will perform the addition with XS3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. Now you can see this is XS3 for 2. This is XS3 for 8, but this is XS6 for 7 because 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. And the answer should be 7 plus 3 equals to 10. So what we can do? We can simply subtract 3 from the obtained result. This is sum and we will subtract 3 from it to obtain the correct answer. So we are going to do the same thing. I will subtract 3 from the obtained result 1 minus 1 is 0 0 minus 1 we have to take borrow borrow is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 as this position has given borrow we are left with 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and finally we have 1 so 1010 0, 0 is the correct answer for this example and 1010 0, 0 is 10 in decimal so this is all for this example number one now we will move to next example this next example is very important this is very important example and in this example we have to perform the addition 27 plus 39 this is what we have to do in this example first we will find the equivalent BCD codes for 27 and 39 27 and 39 for 27 the BCD code is 0 0 1 0 this is for 2 and for 7 we have 0 1 1 1 for 39 we have 0 0 1 1 9 is 1 0 0 1 so these are the BCD codes for 27 and 39 now we will add 3 we will add 3 to each of these groups and this will give us 0101, 1010 0, 0, 0, and for 39 we will have 0110, 1100. 0, 0, 0. 
so these are the access three codes and now we will perform the addition 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 this is very important so please pay attention I will make two groups the rightmost bits the four rightmost bits will make group 1 and the four leftmost bits will make group 2 so these are the two groups and now we will perform the addition 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1 and you can see this carry is from group number 1 1 plus 1 is 0 again with carry equal to 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 with carry 1 and finally we'll have 1 the answer obtained is incorrect and we have to correct it let's see how we can do this we will focus on group number 1 and group number 2 and if you see for group number 1 the final carry this is the final carry is equal to 1 and for group number 2 the final carry is equal to 0 because there was no carry when we added the last bits of group number 2 so what I can write for group number 1 the final carry is equal to 1 and for group number 2 the final carry is equal to 0 and we have to focus on the final carry whenever the final carry is equal to 1 we will add we will add 3 to it 0 0 1 1 and uh, whenever the final carry is equal to 0 we will subtract 3 from the obtained result so let's do it for group number 1 we have final carry equal to 1 so we will add 3 I will add 3 and uh, for group number 2 final carry is equal to 0 so we will subtract 3 so we will subtract 3 and let's see what we have 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1 we have 0 with carry equal to 1 so we have 1 0 0 1 as the result of addition now we will perform the subtraction 0 minus 1 we have to take the borrow borrow is 2 now this position will give borrow to the 0 so we have 2 here and we are left with 1 at this position 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 this position has given borrow so we are left with 0 here 0 minus 0 is 0 and 1 minus 0 is 1 so this is what we have this is our answer now we are going to cross check it the first number was 27 the second number was 39 we will add them 7 plus 9 is 16 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 so we have 66 as the result of addition but we are performing access 3 code addition so this result this sum here should be access 3 code so we will add 3 and this will give us 99 and if you compare this with our answer you will find we have 9 9 because 1001 is 9 and again we have 1001 so we have 99 as the answer which is correct so this is all you have to do in access 3 code addition now we will move to homework problem we will move to homework problem in first homework problem you have to perform the addition 8 plus 9 and in second homework problem perform the addition 23 plus 33 and in third homework problem perform the addition 3 plus 11 so this is all for this presentation once you have your answer post it in comment section